Well, we've been really lucky this year uh, with the weather. So a little bit of rain this morning is okay. It'll do the ground, the water good. And, uh, but we need to get on, we need to push on. But this is what happens. This is all part of the daily grind. It's as simple as that. Doesn't matter where you go now, decking is still popular, but look at the thickness of it, you know, that has no longevity whatsoever. And uh, generally, a lot of this stuff is homegrown, or, is, or sometimes if it's imported, it comes from the Baltic uh, states, and uh, loads of knots in it, and it's, it's not good. There's different ways of doing decking now, and uh, we need to be a little bit more creative. Look how it splits. Like that already in here, not good. Well, I never come in home base very regular now. It's usually in the DIY stores, uh, like the nationals, like Juicens and Travers, etc. But look at the toolboxes now that are available, and uh, it's great to see, is it? Look at that one, it's almost like a kitchen, absolutely fantastic. And the colours, look at this one, nice colours, very retro. Look at this one as a toolbox. It's almost like a kitchen, you could use that as a kitchen workshop. Home base here now, and um, I bought some shelving a little while ago online, and I paid decent money for it, and it was absolutely rubbish. I wasn't very impressed with it, and already I've given it away. Um, I should have sold it, but I wouldn't buy it again. Uh, but they have here in home base, these shelving systems, and you, obviously you can just buy it I just haven't been here for a while. There, that one takes uh, nearly half a ton for that small shelf. And when you look at the units, you buy them all individually, and uh, they are strong without a shadow of a doubt. And it makes a big difference whether it has longevity or not. What a great way of buying it. ECD115. Ruby blade, an absolutely fantastic blade, and it's great for cutting curvaceous shapes in your porcelain and gets over those problems. Along with my new Ruby t shirt, this is a quarry where it's uh, to the neighbor of uh, where we're working, and as you can see, it's been really scarred by man. Uh, but as you can see, nature has a way of sort of making uh, a recovery and uh, you can see up there there's lots of these uh, cotoneasters and they're spreading across the ground and there's some lots of buddleia that's obviously due to the birds of course especially the cotoneaster because they have a lot of berries on there and of course there are areas where there are lots of mosses as well but sooner or later this whole area is going to be green again which is Beautiful in itself, really.